Hi guys, so this is the fourth grade worksheet video. I hope you guys are all staying safe right now. Um, and I'm just gonna go over a few of the problems in the whole fourth grade packet. Um, yeah, so the first question in the first page of the fourth grade packet is multiplying decimals. So for number one, this one, um, multiplying decimals is technically the same thing as multiplying just regular numbers. So let's start with the this question. So 9 times 9, we already know that's 81. So you put the 1 here, 8 on the top. 9 times 5 is 45, plus 8 is 53. So I'm put the remainder 5 up there again. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 5 is 23. Put the 3 down here, put the 2 up there. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 2 is 20. Since there's no other numbers to multiply by, just put the 20 there. So now we're done with the 9, so we put a 0 here. Now, 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. And 1 times 2 is 2. We could cross out these remainders. Now we're done with the 1, so we put two more zeros. Next, 0 times 9, we all know that anything times 0 is a 0. So 0 times 5 is 0, 0 times 2 is 0, and 0 times 2 is 0. Now we're done with three numbers, and we're going to go to the last number, 4. We knew crossed out three numbers, so put three decimals. 4 times 9 is 36. So put the 6 here, and the 3 on top. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 is 23 the 2 on top of here. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So put the 1 here. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So like we do when we do any other number, multiply any number, we add it all together. So 1 plus all this is 1. 3 plus 9 is 12. 5 plus 3 plus 1 is 9, 6 plus 2 is 8, 3 plus 2 plus 2 is 7, 0 plus 0 is 0, and 9 by itself. Now this is when the part gets different. There's a decimal right there and a decimal right there. In this number, there are two numbers behind the decimal. In this number, there are also two numbers behind the decimal. Add these together, there's four numbers behind the decimal in total. So from here, we go decimal point one, two, three, four. So the final answer is 907.8921. This is the final answer. Okay, next, this is listing the factors. And factors is technically just finding the, uh, no, the numbers that can be multiplied with and divisible by the number. So in this situation, 12, so any number can be divided into one. Next, I know that two is a factor of 12 because two is an even number and 12 is an even number. So I know that two goes into 12. Next, I know that three is a factor of 12 because 3 goes into 12 and is divisible by a different number by 12. Next, I know that 4 is divisible by 12 because 3 times 4 is 12. Next, I know that 6 is divisible by 12 because 2 times 6 is 12 and 2 and 12 divided by 2 is 6, so it works all three ways. Lastly, of course, 12 is divisible by 12 because when multiplied by 1, it is 12, and 12 divided by 1 is 12 also. Okay, next one, so 80, I always know that 1 is always divisible. Next, I know 2 is divisible because 2 is an even number and 80 is an even number, so it goes into 80. Next, I know that 4 is a factor of 80 because 4 times a number equals 80. In this case, 20. 
Next, I know 5 is divisible because we all know that 5 is divisible by 5, 10, 15, 20, anything that includes a 0 after or a 5 after. Next, I know 8 is divisible and a factor of 80 because 8 times 10 is 80. So same thing for that, I could put 10 right here because both of them are divisible into 80. Next, I know that 16 is divisible by 80 because 16 times 5 equals 80. And this is my proof, 80 divided by 5. I know that 16. So I know that 5 times 16 is, thir uh, is 80. And then I know that 4 times 20 is 80 because 20 times 4 is 80. So it just works all three ways. And then I know that 40 is, div is divisible into 80 because 40 times 20 equals 80. Last but not least, I know 80 is a factor of 80 because 80 goes into 80 right on top. Okay, next question that I'm going to go over is subtracting fractions. So in number three and four, they have the same denominator. When adding or subtracting fractions, you must always have the same denominator in order to continue with the problem. In, in this case, we don't have to change anything for the denominator because these are equal to each other and these are equal to each other. So we only have to change the top. So this is just like regular math, five minus four, we know that that is one. And because the denominator is already the same, just put the same denominator. So the answer is 1 over 26. This one's fairly simple. You just have to have the same denominator. When you don't have the same denominator, it gets a little more complicated. Um, same for this one. We know that 14 minus 8 is 6. And because 15 and 15 have the same denominator, I know that goes into like that. So subtracting um, fractions with the same denominators are, is fairly easy. And then next is simplifying fractions. So when simplifying fractions, this is like, um, this is tied into finding the factors like we did before. So for this case, we have to find the greatest common factor that goes into both numbers. So for this one, we know that 1 goes into both of them. I know that 2 goes into 12 because 12 is an even number, but it does not go into 9. Next, I know that 3 goes into both of these numbers because 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 4 is 12. So when simplifying fractions, you could just divide each number by the by the um, greatest common factor. So 9 divided by 3 I know is 3. And 12 divided by 3, I know, is 4. So this perfectly comes out as a whole number, or not a whole number, but whole number on numerator and denominator. So next, for this question, I know that 1 goes into both of them. I also know that 2 goes into both of them, but that is not the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor in this case will be 4, because 4 goes into the number 4, and 40 goes into the number 4. That is the greatest common factor in this case. In this case, I can show it um, where we do it by 2. So let me start by doing 2. If I divide by 2 on both sides, I get 2 over 20. However, this can be simplified further because there's another common factor in between these two numbers. And that number is 2. Because 2 can go into the number 2, and 2 can go into the number 20. So I know that the answer is 1 over 10. And that cannot be simplified any further, because the greatest common factor is 1. This one is kind of more difficult than others, but it's also not that bad. Lastly, we're going to do this question. So, in this case, this is kind of hard to comprehend, so I'll write it like this. 3 